This video will provide an introduction to the Paleobiology Database Navigator Interface. The Paleobiology Database is a huge online database that seeks to catalog all fossil occurrences across all geologic time and across the whole tree of life. It's the standard tool used by paleobiologists to examine all sorts of questions about the diversity of life through time. The database has a number of different portals or apps through which you can access different types of data in different ways. The simplest way to view data on the location of collections containing a specific group of organisms through time is through the Navigator. The Navigator is basically a visual portal that allows anyone to explore these data. So from paleobiodb.org, we're going to go to the Explore icon, which opens Navigator. So Navigator consists of three main parts. Here's a map showing continents, and each one of these dots here represents fossil occurrences. The color of the dots represents their geologic age and corresponds to the timeline down here. If you click on a dot, you can see information on a site. Um, it'll actually zoom in and show you more detail usually. Let's see if we can find an example here. Okay, so here's a summary bin telling us that, that circle that I clicked on actually has three different um, fossil occurrence localities. Click on this one, it'll give us more information about it. And under occurrences, it'll tell us exactly what taxa are found in that location. Down here, we have the geological time scales that shows the major eras, periods, and stages. If you click on the time scale, the map will shift to just show you um, collections from that time period. So in this case, we're looking at the Devonian. If you look over here in filters, you'll see that the Devonian is selected. If I unclick that, it'll go back to showing me the entire Phanerozoic. In order to zoom in and out of the time scale, you just double click. So if I wanted to see more detail on the Devonian, I can double click it and it'll expand and show me all of the um, smaller time periods within the Devonian. So if you wanted to look at just the Franian over here, I could click that and just see the Franian. But if I want to go back to say, look at the whole Paleozoic, I just double click on Paleozoic and it'll zoom back out. Or Phanerozoic, it'll zoom back out again. Over here is the toolbar. And the toolbar shows all the tools that you can use to explore the database. So I'm going to get rid of our filter here. The plus and minus are pretty intuitive. They just zoom you in and out of the map. Uh, the continents icon will provide paleocontinental reconstructions, um, but only if you're at a fine enough temporal resolution. So for example, if I was going to go to the Paleozoic and click on the icon, um, it's going to give me sort of like a random continental reconstruction from this time. So if I click on the Carboniferous, Permian, Devonian, you can see uh, that it's giving me more fine scale resolution here. And you can see that it's mapping on fossil occurrences as well. The bug icon allows you to search for a specific clade of organism. So here it asks you to enter a taxonomic name. So let's look for whales. We're going to enter Cetacea. And it's going to give you a number of different options here. So we're going to go for the class Cetaceae. And you actually have to click on it here in order for the filter to go into effect. So if we come back over here, you'll see our filter says Cretaceous and Cetaceae and shows us zero dots. This is because whales didn't involve until after the Cretaceous. So what are we going to do? We're going to go to the Cenozoic instead. Oh. Okay, so this error we're getting here is because we're still on the paleocontinental reconstruction option. So we're going to turn that off. And now it's going to take us to Cenozoic and Cetaceae. Every one of these dots here represents a collection that contains at least one whale fossil. If I want to look at all Cenozoic fossils, I just go over here and unclick Cetaceae. You can also add in taxa up here. And again, it'll auto uh, fill. And here's our filter again. All right, so let's undo all of our filters. And we're going to collapse the taxa browser back to our main screen. The next option we're going to explore is this little graph icon. This is going to create diversity curves for us. So if we click on it, we're going to get a new box that pops up. Now, there seems to be an issue in Chrome right now where it makes the graph really small, so my apologies here. But what we're looking at is the entire Phanerozoic, and it's telling us up here that we're looking at sampled in bin diversity for our current view. 
our current view being our map view of the entire globe and our time period of the Phanerozoic. If we look over here, we'll see a little question box that says what's in this plot. If we click on it, it's going to tell us exactly what we're looking at. Uh, sampled in bin diversity, which counts the numbers of occurrences of selected taxa in each time bin within a selected geographic extent. And it gives you a little more detail down here. Now we can change the taxonomic level to family or order, which is also going to change the view of our diversity curve. And we can also change the temporal resolution from age to epoch or period. We can save this image and it'll download a low resolution image, or we can download these data and we'll get into that later. Now, if you just wanted to look at the diversity of fossils in North America, we would go back here and we would move our map around until we just had North America in our view. And now let's say we were just interested in the Mesozoic of North America. So we're gonna click here so now our filter is coming up as Mesozoic, and our field of view on the map is basically just North America. Let's see if we can scooch uh, Europe out of the way a little bit more. Now if we go to the graph function, it's just going to be graphing the Mesozoic of North America. If you want to download the data, you can also do it from here. Save map data. Again, this is going to give you just what's on your screen right now, so Mesozoic of North America. And if you want to open things in Excel, it's generally best to save it as a CSV, comma separated values file. Um, occurrences is going to give you every single fossil occurrence on your map view. Um, diversity summary and diversity, full diversity method are going to give you slightly different uh, data sets that might be better depending on what your question is, and we can get into that in another video. The last thing uh, in your view here is this little hand, which pops up some fun um, examples to look at within Navigator and also uh, gives you the labels of all of your tools over here on the left. So if we look at Jurassic dinosaurs in western US, here we go, Jurassic Dinosauria, and it zoomed us into the western United States. So that's the basic of Paleobiology Database Navigator. There's a lot to explore in here, so take your time and have fun.